Hey, what's up guys? Corey Aqua here, back with video number three. Today we're gonna be doing some online shopping. We're gonna go, we're gonna hop onto www.tanninaquatics.com or you can even contact them through Instagram. But what I'm gonna be buying is more Neothelma shells. These are the shells that are actually found in Lake Tanganyika and uh, your shell dwellers would absolutely love them because it's like instinct. They know what it is. They know exactly what to do with it. As you guys saw in last week, my shell dwellers completely started moving it around. What, what, just day two of releasing them? So we're going to go back and get some more because my Calyptus female is being picky about a house. So I want I want to give my Calyptus male more of a chance. And I also plan on adding more she more shellies in the future. So I guess the more the merrier. So... A little bit about Tannin Aquatics. Uh, they're a store built mainly around the hobbyists that likes to likes biotopes. They like to recreate nature. So they do sell a lot of tannins, but they also have uh, they have fish tanks, rimless tanks. They have different sands for different types of biotopes. And yes, I talked to Scott over at Tannin Aquatics, and they're gonna be making some Tanganyika and Cichlid sand blends. So. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna be able to completely replicate what we see in all those pictures of Lake Tanganyika in the future. Hopefully they get their mixes right and they could put something out soon because I'm itching to try it. But um, anyways, yeah, we're gonna jump online, buy some shells, get it delivered hopefully soon. And uh, I'll walk you guys through my process of preparing them for the aquarium and maybe even show you some b-roll footage of me releasing the shells and a little bit more of my new shell dwellers. So, let's go. So again guys, the website is www.tanninaquatics.com. You could find these shells under the hardscape category in the shop tab. It's checkout time. After my package arrived a few days later, it's time to open it up. As you can see, they do a really good job with packaging. There was a few layers of paper padding. Now there's some bubble wrap here. This is my second time ordering from this company and I have not received the one damaged shell. Now that my shells have arrived, they're ready to be boiled. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why don't you just dump them in? Well, one, I don't want to damage them. They're already a little worn due to the weather. And two, they'll just float. There's a lot of air trapped in these shells. So I have to scoop up the water and make sure that the water gets all the way into the shell so that it anchors down into the water. Next, I turn the stove on to medium and boil the shells for 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes is up, I get the shells, drain them, and try to get as much water out as possible. Now, as a safety precaution, I like to dose my aquarium with Prime 
Just for that extra water that's trapped in the shell that we couldn't get out. Now, if you remember, I said earlier that these shells float. You have to pick them up individually and kind of like twist the shell counterclockwise so that the water sinks to the bottom of the shell. Now, if you want a shell dweller tank and uh, you're looking for some Neothalmo shells and can't find them, don't worry. You could use any other shell that's readily available and safe for the aquarium. A lot of people use escargot shells. My second favorite, besides the actual Neothalmo shells, were the terrible snail shells. They have like different textures, different colors. Some of them even have algae on it. It's pretty cool. They're pretty cool looking shells, but. Nothing beats the real deal, which is what these Neothalma shells are. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. I appreciate you guys for sticking through. Um, I'm trying to post one video a week. That's my goal. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. If, if you like content like this or just give me some suggestions or some feedback. That's all I ask. Thank you guys. Please like, comment, sub subscribe if this is your first time watching and I'll catch you next week.